532 is the time. Now the Frank Bogert statue outside City Hall in Palm Springs may be a step closer to being removed after a public outcry in his role of displacing several people over 50 years ago. That decision now in the hands of the Palm Springs Historical Preservation Board. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez joins us live with what's next in this removal process. Crystal. Good morning, Jeff. The controversy behind the Frank Bogert statue continues as members of the community have called for its removal. Now, the city of Palm Springs already said the statue should go. The city even agreed to issue a public apology for its role in the removal of people from their homes in what was called Section 14. But now it's up to the Palm Springs Historical Preservation Board to decide whether or not the city can follow through with this. This is because City Hall is considered a Class 1 historic site after being deemed a landmark back in October of 1996. The statue itself was installed in 1989. This was a few years before City Hall was considered a landmark. But the argument is that the Bogart statue is not part of the defining historic characteristics of City Hall. However, where it gets sticky is because the removal will be making an alteration to this historic site, which would involve the restoration of the turf where the statue currently stands. It needs to be approved before following through with the removal. The public is invited to the meeting tonight. It starts at 4 p.m. However, you would need to attend via Zoom only as there will be no public presence allowed in person. As for the city, it is currently working on budget proposals for reparations to be paid for those displaced for Section 14. It's expected to be brought back to the council within the next month. Live in Palm Springs, Crystal Menes, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you very much, Crystal. 534 is the time now. India voters will decide the fate of Measure E today. It's an extension of a one-cent 